gripe. Um, I don't know if you could really see from back there, that's why I'm coming a bit closer here. The bank uh, was savaged, some of it, by a, a mulcher on a digger. So there's all sharp spikes and all sorts of rubbish, and I doubt if you'll see it here. But there's barbed wire running along the top of the ditch as well. Um, so it's uh, not the, the best environment for felling trees. Um, again, I was saying further down there about the safety aspect, how, you know, we're, we're always taught and should always practice, assess the job, uh, assess your escape routes, all this sort of thing. But on a job like this, um, you kind of, yeah, you just have to make sure you do it right and um, clear as much as you can. Um, in fact, a lot of this small stuff here actually gets more dangerous cutting it with a saw. So you're kind of just better off, I don't know if you saw me clumping around a little bit, settling everything down, checking where the wire was. Um, so it, it, it's again, it's not a great environment. And from back there, it, it looks nothing. And even from here, I'm sure it doesn't look that bad. It sounds like an old woman whining on about it. But it's just that anybody working and stuff like this, remember, just take your time and have a good look. Uh, it's amazing what gets hooked up and wire gets lost in amongst the stuff and that. But anyway, uh, a nice birch, I can say. Uh, this was a, a, the rear limb off it actually earlier on when I was just opening the whole place up. Um, like I say, the digger will be in shortly and we'll lift all this out. You can see there's a ditch down there, there's one on the other side. So this leads on down to the small river I was working on earlier on. Um, wow, very big stream, very small river, depending on your take on it. Um, so I've got a few more over there to do now, which uh, may actually be left the digger gets here, otherwise I'll be cutting and cutting and cutting and uh, getting in a mess and amongst brambles and that, not the point of that. Anyway, uh, back across here now, the uh, Saw 562 XPG from uh, Hot Saws, uh, a smallish bar on it, a 22 inch bar, um, again, in this sort of stuff, sometimes you want a long bar, a longish bar for reach, although it's not big timber, let's be honest now. Uh, but in this sort of stuff, a long bar can get you into more trouble. Um, so I just, that's actually a, a 22 inch uh, power match, which I find is a great size. It's, uh, uh, yeah, it's not too bad. It, it's kind of a split the difference between everything. And since it's a power match, if all else fails and the bar gets some damage, it's not the end of the world. I would particularly want to stick a brand new uh, TSU bar into that lot, to be absolutely honest. All right, enough waffling on for me, as you can see. I don't know if you could see it behind the tractor going up and down. Everybody's getting ready for the, for the next section of the year farming. Um, there hasn't been too much road work done here just yet, um, but I suspect that will all kick off. There's some mighty big machines on this job. So uh, I'll leave you all in peace, and thanks for watching. Bye.